today we're gonna make a fruit cake. No, 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 no. Not the heavy shit that you used to with a bunch of frosting on top. No, a very simple and chic version, which is Francaise. So fruit cake in France is called a cake of fruits. Cake of fruits is not always for Christmas. It's also served at tea time. Any day of the week it doesn't have that like, mm, you know, it's like, mm, like me. Ingredients needed, black raisin, golden raisin, dry fruit, baking powder, salt, flour, eggs, butter, and sugar. Let's make it happen. You will have a good surprise. So first, I am going to soak my resin with rum. That's how we get the party started. So usually I let them soak overnight. So, you know, the gorge with rum. And uh, I'm telling you, one little slice and you happy. I have some that I soaked yesterday, so I'm gonna use them just to show you how they look after a night out, no, a night in the fridge and soaking. So now I have a couple of dry fruits. I choose um, peaches, apricot, and pear, and I'm gonna chop them, you know, small. Of course, chopping is not my thing, so if there is a finger in the cake, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You still wanna know what you're eating, so don't do it too, too thin, but don't do it too big either. So now let's make the batter. I'm gonna first start to cream the butter. So I like it at room temperature, it's much easier. So butter and sugar combine. Then I'm gonna start to add one egg at a time. Make sure each egg is very well incorporated before you add the other one. Scrub the side always. Now the flour, I think I'm gonna put the baking powder inside the flour, just because. So I'm gonna add the salt now. I'm gonna start adding. Not all at once, so it has time to incorporate better. Let's not overwork the dough, the butter. So see, I have a butter that is light and fluffy and I'm gonna finish it by hand because I don't wanna overwork it. Because if it warms too much, if he heats up too much, then the butter is gonna separate and it's gonna be pure fat, gross. So we don't wanna do that. I am going to add first the resin with a bit of rum. So. Okay, not all the rum, but a bit of rum. So you add an extra moist to the butter. And now I'm gonna add the fruit. Now I have prepared a cake pan that I've lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna transfer my butter into it. Now I'm evening out my dough, but don't worry if it doesn't even out. When it cooks with the heat, it's gonna even out anyway. Now the cake's gonna go in the oven at 350 convection for an hour. So 
So it's ready. I'm going to let it cool off for like five minutes and then I'm going to glaze it. So for the glazing, I use severed um, apricot jam and it's going to give not only a sweet taste, but it also give a very nice finish to the cake. It's, you know, give a little brownish color that is really pretty. Surprise, surprise. Literally, we're gonna have cherry on the top. And it's true. So, the glaze is gonna help the cherry stay on top of the cake. Look how pretty this is. And here it is, the perfect French fruitcake. So see, my fellow Americans, no like crazy, like um, icing, frosting, whatever you call that. Just plain simple, delicious. Slice it, serve it at any time with tea, coffee, whatever you want. To keep it uh, for a few days, you can wrap it up in plastic wrap and store it in a cool area. This is the first recipe of um, Christmas special. So it's gonna be three more recipe dropping soon. Please subscribe to Delightful Mrs. Azria. And uh, I'm gonna be dropping a video every Thursday at 6 p.m. Enjoy and happy holidays.